Hey there, this is Matt, and I am incredibly excited about Olama's brand new 0.9.0 release. This literally just dropped within the last day or so, and I had to get this video out to you immediately because it introduces something game-changing, native thinking support. Now, Olama has supported thinking and reasoning models for months already, ever since DeepSeek R1 became the first major downloadable thinking model. But here's what's revolutionary. Olama now actually understands the thinking process and can separate it out intelligently from the final output. What you get now is beautiful separation. The API returns distinct thinking and content fields that are populated accordingly. Whether you're streaming or not, you get this clean separation between the model's internal reasoning and its final response. The brilliant part, they didn't break any existing applications. If they'd enabled this by default, it would have been a breaking change. But here's where you might get confused when first trying this out. You'll wonder why nothing seems different. The key is this, you must explicitly enable it. For the API, set think to true in your request body. For CLI, use slash set think to enable it and slash set no think to disable it. Let me show you this in action. I'm using get API here, though this works with Postman, Insomnia, or any API tool. I'm testing with Quen 2.5 14B, one of the thinking models with a simple prompt get a business plan for a startup for dog soap. I don't know. Initially, I set streaming to false because I couldn't get it working. I thought maybe streaming interfered with the feature, and honestly, most API testing tools don't handle streaming gracefully anyway. They just dump all the JSON responses at the end. So let me demonstrate with curl. First, thinking disabled. Same model, same prompt. Hit enter, and we get the traditional response. Model name, timestamp, role, and content. But notice something confusing. All the thinking tokens are jumbled together with the actual response in the content field. But watch what happens when I add think true to the body. Now we get our familiar content field plus a separate thinking field. No more confusing thinking symbols mixed into the response, just clean, separated reasoning. With streaming enabled, each JSON response represents a single token, tagged either as thinking or content. You can watch the model work through its reasoning in real time. When the JSON responses stop containing the thinking field and switch to content only, you know the reasoning phase is complete and the final answer is being generated. One missed opportunity is that the final response includes timing statistics, but eval duration and eval count cover the entire output. I'd love to see separate metrics, thinking duration, thinking count, content duration, content count. That granularity isn't there yet. But you can calculate this yourself pretty easily. With an eval count of, let's say, 2135 tokens, count the thinking versus content JSON responses, calculate the percentage split, and apply that ratio to the eval duration. And boom, there you've got your thinking time versus content generation time. This is absolutely game-changing for developers. Previously, I built applications that needed to detect when thinking finished, which meant hunting for closing tags like slash thinking. I had to manually parse these symbols and handle timing, and every model used different markers. It was a nightmare. Now it's effortless. This will revolutionize how tools like Misty and others handle thinking models. They get clean separation without parsing headaches. Any developer working with reasoning models just got their life dramatically simplified. I'm genuinely thrilled about this update and had to share it immediately. This is the kind of thoughtful API design that makes building with AI models actually enjoyable. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing how you use this in your own applications. Alrighty, bye.